Hello everyone, welcome to Graphic Hunters. In today's video, I'm going to show you, how to design a modern logo by following some easy step on grid. And I will also show you, how to use the freedom gradient to your logo. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. I already have the colors, that I will use for the logo. And also write the color code, so that you can copy it and use it for your design. Anyway, now we are going to design our logo on grid. Grid is important thing for designing your logo, if you properly understanding the grid method, you can easily draw any letter on your grid. So let's make the grid. First take line segment tool, and draw a line. Turn on the stroke color. Now copy the line by hold alter and make it total 11 lines by hold control and pressing D. Okay, that's good. Select the lines. One important thing, if your lines are not equal like that, suppose high and low. Then select all lines and make it top a line and your all lines be equal and make a group. Now copy the lines, for copy, go edit, and select copy, again go edit, and select paste in place. Now rotate it 90 degree like that. We have already made our grid. Now we add ellipse on the grid. So take ellipse tool. And draw a circle equal to the grid. And make sure, your circle place perfectly on the grid. For checking go outline mode by press Ctrl Y. I think, this is perfect. Go back normal mode by press Ctrl Y. Now select the circle, and copy it. For copy, press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now make it smaller to one lines like that. Now take two lines gaps. As you can see, I have mentioned this two lines for your better understanding. Again take ellipse tool. And draw a circle. Okay, that's good. Now select the circle and copy it and make it smaller to one line like that now select everything and take shape builder tool and carefully draw your design here Keep watching. As you can see, I have designed the logo on grid. Now I need move the logo above from the grid. And most of the people ask me how move the logo above from the grid, and they cannot do it perfectly. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way, and I think, from today you don't face this problem again. First select your design, and move it aside like that. As you can see, there is problem to our logo. So first I solved it by go back. 
That's why I always reminded you, when drawing your logo on grid, be careful and perfectly fill up the grid. Okay, I have solved it. Now just select your design, and take the design above from the lines. As you can see, a lot of lines are coming along with the design. Now again select the design, and ungroup it. Again select the design, and move it from here. As you can see, there is no lines to design. By this way, you can easily move your design above from grid. Finally we have designed our logo. Now we will add gradient color to this design. But in this logo, we will use freedom gradient that I have not used before in any videos. First take rectangular tool, and draw a rectangle as a background. Now send it back. And use the color for background. Also lock the background, for lock. Go object, and select lock, and click on selection. Ok, that's good. Now select the design. Go gradient. If you don't find the gradient on right side of the interface, you need to go windows, and find gradient. From the gradient, select freedom gradient. Now it will automatically add these gradient by your colors, but we will make our own. But before adding gradient, we will do some extra works on this design. Select pen tool. And select this area like that. Also do it for bottom part. Ok, that's good. Now select the design, and from gradient, click on edit gradient. After that you can see such point, from this point you can add color as you want. Keep watching carefully. Now select this white part, and add gradient color. Now matching this color to the design like that. As you can see, we have add color to the design. Now we curve the logo corner, for that, select the design. And take direct selection tool. Select these point which you want to curve. Now curve it 10px. Ok, that's good. So friends, this is our finished masterpiece.
I hope you loved watching this grid logo design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.